and low. So let's say um, we'll get back to the main problem. So the main problem is that, okay, great. We build this like user model and so on. It's a class, uh, not an interface and all the goodies. But still, if we think about like layers, let's say we think of domain as another layer, but technically we only have this only one layer. It's this UI layer, which is the smart component in which we actually call direct the HTTP client. And this is a lot of times uh, not a good approach. The reason why you don't want to call things in your smart components like HTTP client directly is because it's really difficult to refactor later. So you should get familiar with things like layered architecture and start following that. It will make your call way easier to refactor, way more maintainable. So you need to introduce a new concept of the layer. And that layer typically is called infrastructure layer. So when you think about it, infrastructure layer is something that can get called by layers, the other layers, and get the data. That's it. This is like this data access layer from which you get the data. Now, how you get that data? That's not your problem if you're a component. You only care about getting the data. Whether, it's get, whether the data is fetched through HTTP, whether the data is fetched from local storage, whether the, the data is fetched from, I don't know, WebSocket, or it could be also like GraphQL, it doesn't really matter. What matters is I get that user model. So let's say later in your company, you say, hey, let's go GraphQL. Well, I wish you a very good luck going to every single component and changing those clients to the other type of clients. And I've seen it over and over again. People will start making like some silly abstractions like abstract GraphQL client or whatever, just to do the very simple stuff. All you need is simplicity. To make it simple, just make a layer. And there will be more layers going forward, but let's start with this one. So check it out. What you can do is you can just say, hey, Angular, create this infrastructure folder, the service, NGGS means generate a new service, called users. Okay, here we go. Um, now we have an infrastructure folder, so everything is nicely separated. We have this UI stuff in pages. We have a domain uh, business rules in the domain folder. And then we have the fetching of the data in the infrastructure folder. Okay, cool. And lucky to us, uh, Angular already creates a um, spec for us. So that's really cool, nice of him. And then we can uh, focus on those classes. Now, let's do it like, let's see what the junior guy would do, given that we actually tell him do the TDD way. And that's going to come next.